wrap. Oh. Oh. That sucks. One more. One more. Oh, suck. Hey, I just finished my uh, Sunday morning run. Um, over three miles this morning, but uh, I had something horrible happen yesterday to Duke. Um, absolutely horrible. Um, while he was at the trainer. So I'm gonna get home and make a cup of coffee, sit out on the back porch and tell you what happened. All right, what is going on everybody? Um, so I mentioned the tragedy with Duke. Uh, by the way, it's a gorgeous day here. Um, sun's out, yesterday was miserable. It rained buckets all day long yesterday. Everything's flooded. Um, I can only imagine what the ridge looks like. I'm sure it's, well, we have cameras 24 hours up there and I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure I looked on there earlier and there's just water everywhere so I'm sure it's a muddy mess so uh, I doubt the framers work up there tomorrow I bet you they go back on Tuesday so uh, anyways I digress this is about Duke um, so yesterday I am uh, I was piddling around the house and I keep my phone on silent a hundred percent of the time um, I do that because in my business my phone does not stop Literally, my phone, I, I, I can't even count the amount of phone calls, text messages I get. And not as many emails in my industry, but phone calls and text messages all day long. So hearing that dinging and the ringing just gets a, not only annoying to me, but everybody else around me. So I just leave it on silent, and the phone pretty much stays attached to my hand all day long. And uh, I either feel it vibrate or I look at it about every five minutes, which is probably not healthy, and uh, see what I've missed or anything like that anyways so I missed a phone call from Duke's trainer yesterday who's trained um, two other dogs for me in the past uh, he's a great guy this is nothing um, against him at all uh, just a completely fluke accident so I missed his phone call and then um, about 30 minutes later he called me back maybe not even that I answered the phone and it kind of sounded like business as usual with him, but then I could tell there was just something not right. So I said, what's up? And he said, I've got something that I've never seen before. And uh, it's not good. And um, he basically told me uh, Duke was missing part of his tongue. Yeah, you heard me right. Uh, Duke was missing part of his tongue. And so I immediately, my mind's going a thousand different directions. Uh, we don't know what to think. Is it, you know, what is it? Is it? Was it traumatic? Anything. He's like, there was no blood in his kennel. He ate just fine last night. I sit there and I watch all my dogs eat. And then I put the bowls up. I don't leave the bowls in there. And I would have noticed if there was something going on. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to attempt to put a picture of what we basically boiled down to, what we figure out what happened. It was something wrong with his kennel, and I'm going to try to put that in. I don't know where it's going to go. I've never done picture in picture before, but uh, I'll try to drop a picture in while I'm sitting here talking. Um, also, if you've seen a picture by Duke by, by now, you figured out how I can just put a picture of him in. So, um, anyways, 
I meet him at the first vet, which was the vet that did all of his vaccinations. And I, you know, we were going to worst case scenario. So, you know, the first thing we think about is what would cause, because he couldn't, no, no blood anywhere, um, no traumatic injury on the face, um, anywhere on his body. He was fine. And it was just, the only reason why he noticed is because he saw like blood in his saliva. So, we, unfortunately, our minds immediately went to rabies, uh, some type of bacteria, some type of crazy genetic disorder, seizures. So, we go to the place where I had him vaccinated, because I'm like, uh, that's freaking bullcrap. If, if, if it's rabies or something like that, they're going to figure this out, or they're going to... Anyways. So, we go there. Uh, we get their opinion. Um, basically a dog has, if you look at your dog's tongue, it's got a perfect line down the middle of the dog's tongue. What had ended up happening, and I saw this, I didn't take pictures of it, it was just too graphic and I wouldn't, I don't think I would have shown it even if I did have it, but, uh, about a quarter of the way back, maybe half the way back of his tongue, um, that line, it was split. And he had one side hanging over one way and a part of the other side just gone. Um, it's bad. It's bad, bad, bad. So um, they ended up prescribing him anti-inflammatories, antibiotics. Basically said infection had already set in a little bit and they had to kill the infection uh, before we could move forward with treatment uh, of trying to put it back together so um, what they were saying made a little bit of a sense but I didn't really like the answer because uh, why couldn't we cut out what we saw needed to be cut out while he was under if we're going to take the time to put it all back together anyways um, let's just get it done I would hate for it to start healing and then disrupt the situation again so um, I bought the the antibiotics from them and the anti-inflammatories and the trainer was was with me still and we ended up going to uh, to his vet um, which was just a mile up the road so we left there and went to his vet and he was like antibiotics were good anti-inflammatories good I'm giving him a shot of penicillin you're bringing him in Monday morning um, we're gonna do surgery on his tongue and we're gonna we're gonna put it back together and that was what I wanted to hear. Um, so uh, basically he said I would do it right now, but I want him already, I want antibiotics already moving through him. Um, so take the weekend, put him on all those pills. I'm giving him a shot of penicillin. And I think it was penicillin. And, um, and we're gonna do this thing Monday morning. He'll be ready to go home Monday afternoon. And basically what he described to me that they're going to do is cut out the dead tissue um, and sew it back together with absorbable stitches and they may end up, not may end up, they're going to have to end up um, kind of molding his tongue back together. That's just so horrible. So horrible. Um, the trainer texted me last night, said Duke was eating fine again, he's drinking his tail's wagging the whole time. Um, he's acting normal. Uh, he just, what ended up happening was at the bottom of the door of the kennel, he's got prefert kennels, really nice kennels. One of the steel rods, which is probably like a sixteenth of an inch in diameter broke its weld at the bottom where it welded to the bar of the bottom of the door and what we ended up finding out is Duke got his tongue underneath that weld and was stuck and couldn't get out and he ripped his own tongue to get it out get himself free um, it just makes me cringe to even think about that it's a freak deal um, yeah, so just bad, 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 bad deal. Um, hopefully, whenever this is all over with tomorrow, we'll have a dog that's um, still lively as ever and lovely as ever and um, 
come through it and be able to function on a daily daily life normally so I'll go work out in the morning uh, have him at the vet by 7 30 uh, I think the vet said we could pick him up by 3 30 and he's coming home so he will be with us tomorrow night uh, after his operation and um, and I don't know if he'll stay with us just a few nights if I'll send him back at all um, I don't know this pretty traumatic thing uh, I think Duke really only had about a week left of his first stage of training anyways maybe half a week even probably one full week um, but uh, I just um, I don't know we'll see what happens um, so I don't know how, how that's gonna happen I guess it'll be you know one day at a time he does have an infection right now so um, we do need to he's not out of the woods yet um, so uh, we'll be praying for him if you guys could pray for him too that'd be great uh, the girls are excited to see him tomorrow even though everybody is sick here and um, Amber's sick and the girls all have a cough they're already asking me to stay home from school imagine that it's Sunday and they're already thinking about school on Monday but um, anyways we will uh, we will get Duke back home tomorrow night and Pip is excited to try all of her sit commands and stay commands and heel commands and all that kind of stuff she said I want to try Duke out when he gets home I want to try Duke out but uh, since his since he's having surgery tomorrow I think we probably better wait a few days before we try Duke out so um, anyways just uh, be thinking about him uh, we certainly are and I'll give you an update on him tomorrow this was not the video I wanted to drop today um, in fact all day yesterday we were consumed by Duke but uh, I was gonna uh, work on a video for Dutch uh, he's trying to reach a hundred thousand subscribers with a little bit of controversy <laughs> involved oh uh, man uh, but uh, I was gonna work on that yesterday I got just a tiny bit of stuff done on that um, and then I did not want to drop this video today I was dropping another video today um, I still may drop both if I can get this out fast enough I may drop this one um, as soon as possible and the other one uh, this evening so we'll just see how it goes and then uh, I'll give you a Duke update tomorrow so anyways uh, we are today we're gonna paint the flow hive I think or at least get a base coat on it um, I want the girls to have some involvement in it so they're gonna help me paint it and uh, decorate it uh, maybe get some stencils some flower stencils or something for them to do something fun on it uh, I wanted to put a Blackberry Ridge stencil on it uh, I still might do that I don't know how all that's gonna work out but um, anyways we will uh, show you some footage of that maybe in the next couple of days and I just wanted to drop in here and give you a quick Duke update um, and uh, yeah so I'll get back with you guys um, throughout the day on some other videos but until then we'll see you next time until tomorrow with Duke's operation we'll see you next time up on the ridge look at your outfit hey tell everybody we'll see you next time up on the ridge oh you're such a goose <laughs> you are such a goober Hey, are you excited to see Duke tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? And also, I'm going to lock you out. You're going to lock me out? Lock. Oh, whatever. <coughs> You're still in your jammies. I thought you were going to get dressed. Then you going to come up there. Hey, are you excited to see Duke tomorrow? Yeah? Can you say I'll see you next time up on the ridge? Can I find lots of Stop it. Uh-uh.